Okay, so I'm working on this large armoire. This is the top, the hutch portion. And when it was being delivered, we got a really big boo-boo. This is about the total, about eight to nine inches long of damage. It starts back here and then up underneath all the way to here. So I have to fix it. Here's what I'm gonna fix it with. And thankfully I have the largest piece of wood so I don't have to completely reconstruct that, that whole edge. But I'm going to glue back on the piece um, that I have with this. I'm gonna put some brad nails in it. Once the glue's dry, I'm gonna come in with some Bondo just to fill in the rest of the gaps tape everything so I don't have to do as much sanding and hopefully smooth it out a bit with the tape. So let's fix it. Okay so I thought the first thing I should do is glue this in because I don't want to put too much pressure on it with the front piece and then not be able to get glue in there. So I have glue in a syringe with this is probably an 18 gauge needle. I'm going to just inject some glue down underneath here. Fill that space. Make sure I have enough glue. If it's leaking out, you know that that space is full. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a brad nail in it just to set it. Okay, so I'm now I'm gonna go to a 5 8 inch, 18 gauge. Okay, that'll do it. That is solid. I really just want it to hold it in place while the glue sets. So glue is really gonna do the majority of the work here. And it's actually a great thing that it's rough. Like I wouldn't wanna smooth any of this out because it really gives it some bite with the glue. Okay. All right, next thing is this piece. I'm gonna put glue on it. A little bit here. Ah, there we go. Slid right back into place. I set that with a couple of brad nails. That's what I have to tape for. I'm going to tape that down right where I want it. Let's see if I can try to get a clamp on there. Just to help hold that in place. And weird at an angle. And we'll see, just a little extra pressure there. Alright, well that's on there pretty good. Take a look and see how this is going on. just be filling in underneath there's a couple of voids too but be filling in all these areas with bondo and then um, I'll be able to sand it all down and make it smooth and hopefully we'll never even know it was there Just overfill it a bit because I want to be able to sand it down smooth. But that should be, it covers everything at least. Let that sit for a bit. Let's see what we can sand down, smooth it out. 
Okay, everything's all hardened now. I'm just gonna shape it all by hand mostly. See if we can't get it to look correct. I'm just using a, a net, sanding that. Well, I'm going to leave it like that until I prime it and see if it needs anything else. 